Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Yesterday, derby, Juventus-Torino. We were dominated by Torino, at a certain moment, 1-0, we were losing. What happened? 89th minute victory of Juventus, 2-1. What a derby. Crazy derby, I lost my voice, that's why I am recording now, a bit in the afternoon, when I recuperated that, because it was a derby. Derby is a crazy game, and yesterday, again, it was a crazy game. So, guys, uh, you remember I started two weeks ago with the new concept, instead of giving ratings to the player that you can find everywhere on the web, I started with the yellow card, the green card, the VR, and the uh, uh, red card. That's what I started, but it was a bit complicated. I liked the idea, but I was not 100% convinced. There is an amazing, amazing concept, the traffic lights. The traffic lights was created, an original idea by my friend Nino JFC that I'm following because he's probably the best. The best YouTuber, it's Italian, so if you speak Italian, go on his channel, Nino JFC, it's written here, it's quite easy to find. You go, you give him a follow, because he deserves it. It. I ask him, Nino, I love your concept, it's way easier to rate the players, can I take it? And he said, Giuseppe, take it. So from now on, the ratings, we will do it in traffic light mode. Red for the players, unfortunately, that were not performing really well. Then we have the yellow and then for sure the best, the green. Hopefully we can see a lot of players in green. That's what we hope game after game after game. We will start, but don't forget in this video, I will again open a package if we have Ronaldo alone, a picture of Ronaldo alone. That that means that we will give for free one goat t-shirt. So let's hope later that we can open it. Stay on the video. Unfortunately, yes, no, fortunately, we won 2-1, beautiful result, but unfortunately, the game was not wow. And that's why we will give a lot of players red, the red color of the traffic light. We start immediately with the, uh, in a form of ranking, because we go from red until green, from the lowest uh, performance or the worst performance of a player until the best one. So we start with Red, red color for Kulusevski, number 14. Kulusevski, unfortunately, he did not a great performance. He, he received the chance, the chance by Pirlo to start the game as a number uh, in the team, in the starting 11, he started, but unfortunately, as Ramsey and before him, even McKenney, he was not able to find his position because you, I remember when we have the possession, he should be the link between the midfield and the striker, giving the ball, being the creative link. Uh, and then when we don't have the possession, he has to go on the wing to form a 4-4-2, giving defensive support. We saw that Ramsey had a lot of difficulties versus Benevento and Dinamo. Yeah, before that, McKenny had a lot of difficulties versus uh, Ferenc Varos, and yesterday Kulusevski had a lot of problems. The guy is totally lost, really difficult for him. I'm I'm put him in red, but unfortunately, I believe also Pirlo has his part of responsibility because who's playing there is failing the game. And then we go to number 13 with Danilo. Danilo, that was for me one of the top three best players until now of the season. Yesterday, he didn't have a really great game. Uh, at a certain moment, uh, a counter-attack, he was not able to catch his man. Um, some difficulties and Pirlo understood it at a certain moment, he changed it. Just one statistic, yesterday Danilo lost 10 times the ball. That's a lot for Danilo that was until now again one of the men of the season so far. The number 12, Dybala. Dybala is also in that red light. Um, Yesterday again, a big chance for him to start. He will have another chance versus Genoa. At the moment, Dybala is not performing. He played a bit better than the last game, but not enough. Because one of the words of Pirlo was, we will have to make density in the box of Torino. Yesterday, Dybala was not able to. He started with the right mentality, staying up front of the game. But after a few minutes, he came back again a bit in the midfield, a bit confusing. He was never able to change the game 
game. At a certain moment, he had a really cross to do, to uh, cross in the box. It was the end of the game. It was still 1-1, poss big possibility. And I don't know where he catch the ball, but... It is what it is. And then Ramsey, number 11. Yesterday, why am I putting Ramsey? Because he played a lot of the game. I believe Pirlo changed 53rd minute of the game. Ramsey was not able to make the difference. Again, in that position. A bit better, yes, than Kulusevski, but not enough. And when he was able to uh, bring a bit of dynamism, uh, Ramsey was not precise. A lot of wasted ball for Ramsey. We go to the last guy in red. It was Rabio. Rabio in the first half was not really bad but not really good second half was absolutely not there he was like a, a, a ghost a ghost on the field doing again his basic task not enough for Ramsey and now we go to the yellow traffic light with the first one Pirlo, yes, the coach is there. Why? Because for me, the first half is again on him. He was deserving a red because a Juve without uh, being actually really tactical placed well, that's a problem. And not even that because we had no motivation, no grinda, no passion. And this is not okay. Uh, luckily, he was able to do the right changes, inserting McKenny at a certain moment and not inserting Arthur that would have probably even kept the ball even more with that sterile possession he was able to choose the right man to change the game so well done for Pirlo but it's not enough we go to another yellow player Ronaldo I put him in number seven why because yesterday it was not his game he did better than Dybala up front but absolutely not enough we needed him but yeah what can we say to the guy that probably helped us in a lot of games where he was present yesterday he was not able to do it we forgive it for Ronaldo but the offense line was not performing yesterday also due to the midfield and to that position number 10 that was not able to serve the players Delicht also him you know my boy one of my favorite ones Delicht yesterday a uh, yellow uh, why because he was not as perfect as uh, usual the guys start to be a bit tired but it is what it is not easy to play every time with another partner yesterday not perfect and then we finish with another one in that ranking that was near to have the green light it's Bentancur Bentancur the last of the yellow why because for me he played quite well first half basic second half he was really there except of one ball that he was passing nowhere he put it on the uh, touchline I believe it was the 47th minute but he did actually quite okay he was there uh, with presence it, it was the man of the midfield the best one before going into the green light because we will go and we have a lot of players and I will surprise you with the last one I will We'll give you a big surprise wait stay on the channel before going there we will give someone the chance to win a goat t-shirt if we have Ronaldo we go quite quick because the video is starting to be a uh, long stay on the channel we open them so the first one who do we have Felix uh, Joao Felix it's not Ronaldo here we have the Reds Liverpool it's not Ronaldo we have some players from Dortmund it's not Ronaldo we have two more we have Tony Kroos from Real Madrid it's not Ronaldo and then we finish with Luis Alberto unfortunately not today uh, a go t-shirt for free maybe tomorrow it's the advent calendar you know it for the whole month of December until we find Ronaldo and now we go to the green the green the best the green Bonucci, Bonucci entered the green time this, uh, the green traffic line this time. Why? Because Bonucci scored the last goal, 89 minutes. He was fighting until the end. Don't forget, his son is for Torino because he loves Belotti. He's his idol. Uh, I don't know what happened in the evening when he, he went home, Bonucci, and he saw his son probably crying. But the guy until the end, beautiful goal, beautiful header. You saw the passion. He had the green tie. He wanted to win that game. McKenny uh, number. Uh, I don't. I don't know. But McKenny really. Was well, uh, for McKenny, he entered, and for me, it's really great to see that these young players they have the passion, they have the green tie. First goal, epic moment. He's writing history in Juventus because he's the first American player to uh, score for Juventus. Well done, McKenny. McKenny, super happy. I love the green tie. I love his goal. I love, I love McKenny. Weston, you are one of the favorites. We continue with Quadrado. Quadrado, why is he not the man of the game? Why is it not the number one? Because the first half of Quadrado. 
Colorado was a disaster. We have to say what we have to say. But again, yesterday, two assists from the moment that there were no tactics anymore in the game. He was playing his football. He, uh, he supported also the FN offensive line two amazing beautiful especially the first one where he didn't even control the ball he knew where the player were assist goal thank you quadrado and then we go to the podium with chesney you remember three three weeks ago i said i'm waiting for the miracles of chesney because the goalkeeper of juve he has nothing to do for 90 minutes there is probably one time where we need him and that's where we need a miracle like buffon did in the past and chesney was able to do this so really great for a for Chesney, number three, we continue with number two, number two, Chiesa. Chiesa is probably the only man that was able to perform on a high level from the first minute until the 96th or 97th minute. What a player, always able to point his man, to dribble his man, to put crosses at a certain moment. He was even the only one to put density in that box like, uh, like Pirro was asking. So be a Chiesa number two and then you will probably ask me but Giuseppe you said all the players who is on number one I will tell you number one of this week Carlo Pinsoglio Carlo Pinsoglio idol for me the best of the game why because he celebrated as crazy as I did yesterday you remember the celebrated the celebration of Buffon I will show you Pinsolio was able to, to do like that. He received a red card because, uh, unfortunately, he celebrated too much. I believe that the referee was really pissed off because Juventus won. And that's why he uh, he gave a red card to Pinsolio. I don't care. For me, Carlo Pinsolio, you are here. In my heart, number one. Guys, I hope you love the video. I thank again Nino JFC, Nino, my friend, to give me that concept. If you speak Italian, go on his channel. Give him a support. Grazie Nino. Guys, let me know in the comment. Do you love the concept of the traffic light? I hope you do. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Put a maximum of like. Thank you, Forza. Juve.